that shit. Oh, there's power lines up there. Mm -hmm. Which way are we going? Left. Did you get the? Uh, We're not town? going over the bridge. Did you get the town sign there on the grass. Uh, I see everything. Where's that? Right there. There's a town sign left. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I got your message earlier. Yeah. Man, totally missed that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I'm in a van. The morels are out this weekend. We're, we're, we're no, that's fine. That's fine. We, uh, we escaped Springfield this last few days. No, that's all right. Make him get off the goddamn phone, Ron. <laughs> hey, hey. So somebody wants to say something right here. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, but okay. <laughs> well, you called it. Yes, you called. Yeah. Wow, the phone. Well, how's makes, it been going? The been going cell right? phone interferes yeah, we, we with this. We talk generally. Yes. And, and I, I, okay. So everything going okay? <laughs> Get video it's specific! That, that. I get close like that. <laughs> Don't fucking say shit like that in front of me! <laughs> okay, alrighty. Uh, okay. Bye bye. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. Does she know me? I'm not gonna tell you. It was a group. Maybe we're not gonna get specific. Female. <laughs> Somebody's wife. Sylvia? Probably was Sylvia. Oh yeah, probably was so. Yeah, you all think that. Bronco was gonna hand me the phone, and then she said, "No, no, no, no." <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know that's like. Somebody knows. That, that tells me a lot. Well, no, it tells me something. Oh, yeah. what the, what this but is I forgot what it tells me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Go to Gascony. It's a gas. Currently bridge. VFW bingo. Everybody welcome. talk generally. <laughs> Come on. Huh? You should have just said, I gotta pee, I gotta go, I'll call you back. <laughs> I handled it just the way I wanted to. I'm very happy with my decision. How about you? I didn't like it. <laughs> you were telling me what maybe I should have, could have done. I did just the way I wanted to. Is that pretty much what you do most of the time, Ron? Exactly what you want to do? No, uh -huh. drive, no I've made compromises my whole group. life. How about you, Lou? Not much. Huh? You don't make too many compromises? Women. <laughs> it's like get it your way or give up. That's my <laughs> well, I do that until I have to make a compromise. <laughs> compromise is giving up. Oh, you can meet halfway. You can meet halfway. Giving up's meeting. Going all the way. You can meet halfway. I'll go halfway, halfway is Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And who wants to go there, right? I'm not getting my key back here. Oh, damn. <laughs> You want to moment to aim it up, Donnie, to like chest work, chest ways, or something? Or split it, I'll split it between the high and the low for you for a while. Maybe it should be blowing just slightly. It's blowing lightly. I turned it up from low, no, from, I turned it, oh, I turned it up to low. I was oh, on off. High low. Pardon me. Are you feeling it? Yeah.
<laughs> what are you grinning about, Luke? I don't know, man. Still thinking I, about who I was talking I, to. I, no, 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 no. What no, are you no, thinking about that? No, I'm fucked, Ron. I don't have to tell you what I'm thinking. About. You don't have to, but I can still ask you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not. I can still ask, it's, Lou. What uh, are you thinking about? Uh, 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 a basketball game. Uh, Missouri. <laughs> who beat, was playing? Missouri beat Miami. What was the score? <laughs> Okay, I believe you. Because you told me. Hey, it was 8354. <laughs> Goddamn. Hey, Ron, write down the name of the person you were talking to and pass it back to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, I just like to think it. <laughs> I do that a lot, Ron. Thinking good thoughts, Luke? All my thoughts are good. <laughs> That's a good little view over there. But if you paid me, I could tell you what I was doing. How much? Five bucks. No, uh, won't go that. No, no. Five bucks, and I'll tell you exactly what I was thinking. They'd probably piss you off with that tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. Nope. Five dollars. Wouldn't it be a uh, dollar? Now, wait a minute. I'll tell you now, everything. Now, you would end dollar. up with, with a dollar in your pocket. Plus, you'd have the fun of pissing me off. What's wrong with that? It'd be more fun with five dollars. <laughs> you pissed off, and then after you pissed off, moaning the fact that you fucking lost five dollars. Like, yeah. That's what it would be like. That's the kind of mileage I'm looking for. Paying to but be pissed off. Otherwise, I get more enjoyment out of I get more enjoyment out of the movie in my mind. <laughs> yeah. I want to say for the record, I don't go out with married women. Flashing light. I didn't. That had that one didn't even enter into. I might boink them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why would you draw the line of married women? Uh, it has to do with vows and stuff like that. Okay. To God. Uh, well, you're committing adultery. You're no. You're not. Your your adultery <laughs> is no worse with a married woman than it would be with a single woman. If you're not married. If I'm just thinking of myself, but I'm not a selfish person. I think about the other person. Wait a minute. It appears to you me, mean though, that argument would make would be a real sexist argument, like you're doing it for the guy. And if there's some married woman, <laughs> yeah. you know, I wouldn't do that to another no guy. What do you mean? I'm not following you. I'm not following you. Well, I mean, you. like, you wouldn't fuck with a married woman because you, you just would, you know, you fuck a single gal, no matter if it fucked up her life or not. No, you know? I didn't say that. No, I didn't, no, I didn't no. say that. No, it's, it means to me, I think to me it could appear you. that that could be a sexual statement. Like, well, you'd be making, I don't go out with married women. You well, know, you'd, you'd be making an assumption. Oh, that's right. I well, why make, that. A, why make an assumption when you can ask me the question? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not saying, I know you don't mean that because I know <laughs> you're a nicer guy than that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying In that, general. The, to me, uh, that was the first thing I thought of. I got you. But that's just me, not weird. You know, like there's certain people the worst thing you'd call them is queer. I mean, that just no <laughs> kill you for that. You know, to me it'd be Republican. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just a matter of fucking degree. <laughs> Some guys would get real mad if somebody started going around spreading the word, but you know, hey, you know, uh, who's gay? <laughs> That they're you know, start spreading that word around. That would piss a lot of guys off. That, I mean, that would piss them off. Wouldn't piss you off, would it? Not a bit. Wouldn't piss me off either. That'd be kind of entertaining. Yeah. Uh, well, that then you're. I hear that about you all the time. Well, ask me if Where's it pisses Ron, me off. Is Ron gay? No. Ask me if it pisses I'm, me off. Uh, well, if it were true, though. Uh, no. I don't <laughs> think it would. It wouldn't bother me. So why would it? Would it bother me either? And, uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you, what would piss off somebody going. He's a Republican. <laughs> that would piss me off. That would so, be like, I'd get to the bottom of that shit. <laughs> well, you just told me how to piss you off, Luke. That's right. So don't worry. Yep. <laughs> hey, did you know Luke's a Republican? I'll kill you. <laughs> he swears up and down he's not, but he is. Yeah. He talks a good game. <laughs> But he's really a Republican. Actually, I'm gonna have it on my my tombstone. Lou Whitney, Democrat. <laughs> yeah. 
1943 to 3006. I'm a apolitical behavioralist. I got this theory about You're a socialism too. You're a socialism socialism happens naturally. It's a naturally occurring phenomenon. It happens anywhere in any history as soon as you build cities. I think, socialism happens. I think you just have to deal with it. I think that <coughs> socialism communism or experiment, experimentations therewith are one of the most logical steps between feudalism and fucking democracy. That's just what I think. Yeah, I think I'm finding the way, you know, Russia was a fucking horrible fucking feudal society under the Tsar. That was they my They became a socialist, character. communist socialist country. Got all the bridges, dams, hospitals, and schools, and infrastructure built. Taught all the people to read, and they wound up being a democracy or on the road to democracy. I that's all think, good. I think, that's all. I good. think that's natural as cornbread. It was uh, all a step in the right direction, in a better direction. But you know, there were people who wanted to bomb them out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> they feared them. Okay, here comes the. No, here no, comes the I'm telling you the truth. I'm, I'm telling you the truth that if you go through the crises between the United States and Russia in the White House, like during the days of the 1962 missile crisis, when we had 2,500 deliverable nuclear weapons, they had 12, and they were trying to get some fucking short ranges on it. And then there was a people in the room with the president that says, we need to attack now, Mr. President, oh, sure. and destroy them. That was a school of thought, you know what I mean? Still and they is. were respected guys with five fucking stars on their thing, well-educated guys, yeah. you know what I mean? The war, the war generals. Yeah. They always want to bomb and fight and kill. That's their job. But see, I mean, but well, I'm glad they weren't charged with fucking shit. You bet. But shoot, they are in charge. They just didn't pull the trigger. Yeah. Well, I tell you one. I tell you one time. Same guys are hey, in charge. I'm gonna tell you one. Time. Can you think of the biggest time they won that battle? That argument. Which one? That bad. That argument. What we need to do, Mr. President, is where's the biggest military win? When you think of the modern. History? Of when? Where, where the generals won. The fucked up thing got happened. You're talking thing. about Hiroshima. Probably. Exactly. Mr. President, we need to bomb them. We'll lose a million men. Burr, 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 burr. We need to What about a demonstration on an atoll? No, Mr. President, we need to bomb a city. You know? Yeah. We need to kill vast amounts of population to show them we mean business. They're just Japs. They were, right called, now, they were called the no Japs. Big, I'm gonna think they called them Japs right there in the at office. The, at the time, they had already made those decisions. They firebombed Dresden and killed more people than they did in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. I know. And they'd already done that in Europe like, shoot, dozens of times. They were just substituting a different weapon, more efficient weapon. Well, it changed the face of warfare. Well, I'm switching my mind to more pleasant thoughts, and I'm thinking of a beautiful Japanese woman. You're going back Looking to Boinkin. Looking at Boinkin. me and go, Rongo. I'm, I'm contaminated. <laughs> yeah. God, this road's a trip. Hi, Rayleigh. Jeez. Gasconade, look here at the Gasconade before it joins up with the Missouri, Donnie. Pretty, Pretty big, big down here. It's been kind of dug out too or something. Channel. It's a little too straight. Too This flood country here, you it's can tell. Fun, it's a funky little town. This town's underwater once in a while. I mean, a few feet anyway. What is this town? Gasconade. I've yeah. heard of this. I bet the damn, uh, the, the confluence of the Gasconade and Missouri right down there. Which I bet they get some big ass catfish right there, my man. Yeah. I was fished right there the before, dude. The Gasconade hits Missouri. There's a guy from Rock. God, Doolittle. I couldn't shoot you might shit if I had to. There's a guy from Doolittle. Took off from Doolittle and went to the Gulf of Mexico. 
On the yeah, Gascon A to the Missouri to the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. I'll bet. Take off from Doolittle. That's what I want to do. You can do it in Tulsa. Do you know that? A guy took off from Doolittle where he used to live with my boat all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, from the Gascon A to the Missouri to Missouri the Mississippi. To the Dad's talked about that. But the guy you that. probably know, uh, I can't think of his name, but he's always around Doolittle. They have a nice view. For the rich folks, they don't get flooded out. They loan money to the folks that get flooded out. God. They probably have that figured out when they bought the place. But they have to worry about a tornado sitting down. As you call compromise. <laughs> yeah, there's no free lunch. It's not even a reasonable. You know what the Republicans' hot topic is now? <coughs> We've got to clean up the efficiency of the school lunch program. Therefore, they're going to target people that they consider not, uh, that don't qualify for, like they think that there's a bunch of families that are out there that don't qualify for the school lunch program, which there probably are, but that's their top priority. It's like, God damn, get an issue. I thought it was terrorism. Yeah. Shoot, that's one thing. See, that's like natural socialism. There, there should be a free school lunch. There should be, like, there's no such thing as a free lunch, but there should be a free school yeah, lunch. Yeah, I think free education and, and, and uh, lunch, all that stuff. Pretty I'm very much a liberal socialist on some issues. I think that's because really nice. socialism like is medicine. behavioral. It's behavioral science. It's not politics. Socialism happens naturally. When you build cities and people start living in them, you got socialism. Communal, populist. You're thinking more populism than you are socialism. No, I'm just borrowing the term socialism because well, socialism is saying a, it, calling it what it is, behaviorally, instead a of it's a political populism. bullshit. Populism is where the things happen to take care of situations among the people on a governmental level. Socialism was institutionalized from the top down. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a dog. Fuck. thought I said <laughs> something else. <laughs> Just a little fucking door. Populism would mean more than, in, if you lived in an area where you needed free school lunches, more than happy school lunches. If you could live in an area where you didn't need them, you wouldn't have them. That would be more populist, but it's awful. Much, much, much harder to achieve. No, I mean in every yes, big sir. city where they got, where people are more likely to be poor because you populate... Oh, well, actually, that's not true. Poor well, people are everywhere. I mean, I'm, but I'm, I'm, you know, you have, I mean, you're more likely to be hungry if you live in a city I than if you're in a rural area. I, I think that's true. I think I've got more first-hand knowledge that than anybody in the bus. That's, you know, head start works. And, I, you know, that just... It does. you, you got to get... Well, you know, I, I the, my, my thinking is, and not just this one, if you live in a society that allows you to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, maximize your potential, and become a multi-gazillionaire, you have not an equal uh, responsibility, but a, in a more impending responsibility to take care of your less fortunate brother. I mean, you do. You just have to. You just fucking have to. If you don't, you are. Go they're going to kill you. If everybody did that, we wouldn't need any government programs. If everybody took care of their neighbor. Um, everybody does take care of the neighbor, kind of, Ron. Well, if we, if everybody, this is my point, if everybody did, we wouldn't need a programs. There wouldn't be any problems. But everybody, see, certain people are responsible, certain people aren't. Yeah, if everybody were responsible, we wouldn't need the programs. It's true. 
So the, that'll never happen, though. That'll never see, happen. But I'm just saying it. But you, you need to. But, but okay, it's just because just to, just because of the fact that you can't effect it perfectly, perfectly does not eliminate. Oh, that's the problem. right. You still so it has, still has to be. A. So so then yeah. you have to choose on what do you do? Well, we're going to have to legislate to take along the folks that don't want to go. So that's a decision that gets made politically. That's what kind of state we live in. Now, there's got people who embrace that and say, okay, let's make this work. And you got people who think that you're robbing them of their fucking God given freedom. Yeah. So you get two schools of thought. But again, Ron, if we use your like earlier allegory. Again, Ron. Of, Sounds like again, Ron. Of, <laughs> again, Ron. Of, of compromise. There you go. We live the whole world's a compromise. There's no perfection. But see, there's not much. There's there. no perfection. I think the whole there's more compromise on. The liberal side of things than there is on the conservative side. Well, that's just a point of view. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Different ways of looking at it. What's your point of view on it? I don't wish to discuss ah! it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, but don't smile about it. <laughs> I can smile if I want to. No, thank you. <laughs> but see, I'm right. <laughs> Because what's, what I'm thinking is that you see these little, <laughs> and you, got, you, got, you know, they, you get it backwards and forward just a little bit. You get your, like, they ebb and your flow of your conservatism. I bet we swing to we the need, right oh, incredibly far on this next election. That'd be interesting. I think you have liberals on one side and you have conservatives on the other. Mix it up, it ends up about right. She, if you I, have, I if think we're, we're all ready, liberals or if we're all conservative, we're getting ready to go off the deep end to the right. <laughs> it would be all messed up. We're going to turn into. I like the two party system. That's what I think, Lou. Oh, I think that. Get ready for the right. I think. <laughs> here I it think, comes. I think very obvious fixes are out there that get watered down or stopped completely. What is it, Rayleigh? That, what did it say, Bailey Creek? Rayleigh Creek? Yeah, sure. Right. 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 That's just what I think. Well, you know, of when course. you have that, of course. When you have some of that. But you'll always have that. Um, experiencing the world. Of I don't think you'll ever get rid of that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Probably not. That's a cold reality. Um, but, you know, it's like, like as long as you have, like, power, power hard drive. I'm you have right. powerful advocates <laughs> for each side. Yeah. Clark and, but Trent. another way to look at that, somebody's made some awful good decisions in the past for it to have as, for us to have it as good as we have it today. Um, usually it's, it's a crapshoot. Political progress in the United States, political social progress in the United States of America usually follows uh, disaster, have cataclysmic, to, have to stuff. cataclysmic events. Only do it when you have to. Total behavioral yeah. crapshoot. Yeah. You know, like after the, Random. the depression. You know, I understand. Wow, what's that? What is that a nuke? Uh, we getting near Callaway County? Yeah, probably is. That is too nuke. great. I'm getting a nuke. There's Where's it at? The nuke. There it is. Second nuke. This one's in Missouri. That is the target. That's it. That's one. They're of the coming targets. up the river and they're gonna hit that nuke. <laughs> Are we gonna go close by it? Oh, Dudley, I'm not from here. God dang, it won't focus through. Here we go. <laughs> this is impossible. So, who do you think I was talking to on the phone, Luke? I got no idea. <laughs> well, if you had to make one guess, what would it be? Who would it be? I, I wouldn't even make one guess. I don't know. I have no idea. That's, See, this, that's, this is on purpose. That Ron was not should be right, right here, Ron. This you're is allowed, on you're purpose. You're laughing about this my is choice fake. of words, weren't you? All right. Five dollars and I'll tell you what I was thinking about. <laughs> you give me five dollars and I'll tell you. But it'll piss me off. 
Oh, I probably would miss you. <laughs> right now, <laughs> two days later. It might after I got it. After it's soaked in. That's so But I, I don't want to go. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. This is it. This is it. This is it. Anytime you're trying to get a good house. shot of something. Look at that Dudley. greenhouse out there, Dudley. Greenhouse well, fuck by that house. <laughs> fuck that house. Dudley Brown. Fuck that shit. <laughs> so nuke over here on the right, who gives a shit? That house is going to be toast here in about whenever they hit this thing. I got one of the last shots of it ever. Man, this is it. Look at that. That is a target. Target for your camera right now. Oh yeah, you know, and they're the terrorists. They're doing exactly what I'm doing right yeah. now. They're shooting video and staking it out. this road around like this and it's flat lane. Oh, no, it's, it's cause I'm trying to shoot property this. Property lines, Johnny, the baseline. Yeah. Yeah. That th reminds me of a funny story of, of, uh, of my dad, dude. Big, and I forget, and I don't know what, what, what the zoning was about. It's big zoning thing. Well, about 20 years ago. Somehow the lines, and I don't know what the zoning was about, which I should know because that's what we're going to but I can still tell the story. So, anyhow, they, they just drew a line. You see that little thing there on the left? Down the middle. And it was supposed to just be down the middle of the road. I forget what it's. But my dad is involved because the rental There we go. Come on. And whatever they wanted to do, he was going to Now we're talking. That, God. You know, Slow down a little bit. That they were wanting to pass, he was kind of poor. So he goes to the big meeting and he 
looks at the map of a straight line that's going down the hill and then it gets to this one property. So he's at the town meeting, right? He wasn't really against what they were trying to do. So, and, he, and he thought this was during the meeting, so he's looking at the map. My dad goes, Well, I'm looking at the map here, and the line goes straight down, it gets to this one area, and then it blocks over, and then it goes back, and it's back to a straight line. My dad said, it goes up. Do you know why it, why it does that? The guy goes, No, no, I can't imagine why it would do that. He goes, my dad goes, well, that's Ted Williams' home, or land, you know. He said, that's probably why it does that. And I goes, oh, well, you know what, I didn't know about that, of course you did. And then uh, the guy go, and then goes, and, uh, so anyhow, my dad ended up against him. And he said, uh, but the guy ends up going out. It, my dad, he made the point, well, that's oh, why shit. I'm against him. I should have gone on 94, huh? I'm still on 100. Okay, get the map out. Stop. We'll stop. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure. Well, go on, Ron. So, so what, what was the upshot of that then? Well, uh, uh, it ended up, my dad told him that he was against the zoning prop, that they wanted to pass because of it just, the property, the, the line went around this guy's property. And what did they ever, what was the upshot? Whatever happened, or do you remember? Well, uh, the, my story ends up like this, and then the guy goes, well, so he asked my dad, you're against it, and he goes, yeah, I'm against it because of the way you guys are going about it, getting into each other's pockets, you know, <laughs> and the guy goes, well, Mr. Gramp, what would make you happy? And my dad goes, if you'd oh, okay. make me commissioner. <laughs> That's the way it ended. <laughs> oh, okay, we're okay. We still got a ways to go. That's what your dad said. Yeah. If you make, if me, you make me the commissioner, that's the way it is. <laughs> it, so, what would make you happy? Yeah, the guy ended up, Mr. Grimp, what would make you happy with this? <laughs> Let me run things. Oh, yeah. It was the talk of the town, you know, a few weeks. I might have brought up that, you know, that's like, and that guy didn't want his property included, man, because that's right. for some reason, whatever, some yeah, person right. caused. Who went in past? I forget. See, I don't know the details. I but did that, become an, did that become an issue after that? Did it become publicized? It oh, yeah. It was a popular thing. It was written up in the paper. <laughs> yeah. I'd have seen that, I'd go, I think at the town meeting, they just probably, I'm just guessing, they probably just presented the map that night. See, you could, the thing is, they should have presented the map about 14 oh, feet bet, tall, yeah. right. so that that thing only looked like, <laughs> yeah. like a little, like a little <laughs> knit, you know. Yeah. Instead, you know, they just showed the whole map. <laughs> They had a presentation problem. They got your dad's interest. Yeah, yeah. You can't even wear his glasses at 90 miles. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of shows a little bit of like callousness on the part of you. See, I'd be like, well, that's small town too. Oh, yeah. Small town. Well, my dad was, and he always said this, and I, and I believe this too, it's not so much what the viewers have to go about it. It was just the way they were going about it. It's like, Kind of pissed off my dad, you know. If he would have been straightforward with my dad asking the right question, why the line was around, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the deal. That's, that's, that was his mistake. That that not being direct with my dad. <laughs> that was Nixon's mistake. <laughs> yeah, right. He didn't order that shit done. Yeah, right. Um, he was just in on, you know, I mean, he knew about it. You know, this guy knew. This guy didn't make the decision. No, he was just a fucking hired deep, right? No. He tried to defend it when he was because he was on that side. Yeah, he, he defended or he tried it to waffle. by not yeah, defending Dinkum. He didn't give the knowledge that, that he had. 
Here, here's a little knowledge. Yeah, it's stone ball. You know, I've seen people stone ball and shit like phone calls. Oh, you said? Where? You know, I don't know what to you know. It's a common area. Yeah, it's a common area. Yeah, it's real common. One of the defining qualities of socialism. Covering your ass. Yes. When people get there. together in groups, you have a group, a, a common, uh, what you call it, scapegoat that you blame everything on. But see, I was just respecting her wishes. Oh yeah, I'm saying. I'm saying. I was respecting her wishes. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> dollar. Five. Dollar. You do it. You get to piss me off you'll, you'll for a it. dollar. After we work tonight, you'll do it. You'll piss me off for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you got it on tape. Too bad you didn't get around to watch it. This Did you get that rock. on film? Did you get that on film? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dudley Brown, scared to death. Take a Video, picture. oh shit. Take a picture of that little hole in your seat. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to hit a restroom some convenient place. Speaking of brown spots, huh? We're on it for Highway 94. God, I hope I haven't run into that so much. Oh, Jeez. it doesn't matter. we got plenty of time. we got to come out somewhere. He just comes out behind, right behind... Uh, Man, just think if you miss this guardrail. Does this road, this road comes out behind Spin again, doesn't it? What road are we on? <laughs> yeah, it's Spin again. Wow, look at that. What road are we on? In the creek. I bet a Corvette's done that before. Or a, no, a Firebird was tooling through there. Camaro. Man, this is nice. But this is some, whoa, high dollar property. <laughs> I mean, this is whoa. Oh, I'm actually, you could buy one of these hillsides pretty cheap. And the lumber, you could maybe pay for your investment by selling the lumber off. Those guys that came over from Kentucky and Tennessee and North Carolina and Virginia, they liked it around yesterday. here. This is sort yeah. of kind of, yeah. this is the closest thing I've seen to fucking home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's sit down, let's settle here. Yeah. 16% in one day. St. Albert. If you knew your trees, Dudley, you can come over here and buy some property. Man. Pay for your property by selling the trees log it. off the land. Log it every log. But you don't even have to log it, you contract it. And they will pay you for the property that you bought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my granddad used to do that. Pay it off. He used to have a sawmill on his property. Then you'll have a piece of land. My or granddad something. ran a bulldozer. You wouldn't have to do anything but just sign your name. Make some money. You don't have think to I should buy a van to pay for something if things didn't work out? That's right. It's I'm a responsibility I'm go, thing. <laughs> I'm going to go transient. Property might not be a good thing. Got might not be a good long-term investment. All property could be confiscated. Confiscated. Could be. Or, no, all property will become just a national park. And you rent your home.
No, everybody's home is a vacation home. And so everybody's on permanent vacation. Pure socialism. And America just becomes a theme park. An overgrown, elaborate theme park. Memo to Morels. <laughs> Get Dudley off the pot again. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's you can use nice your one. cell phones here, Lou. Who do you want to call? <laughs> but we'll see if we got some see if we got the signal straight. I here. bet you got big time. Man, signal it's like it's hurting. It's all <laughs> no, I, don't even, I don't even have any. You don't strength. have a signal? <laughs> strength, got one, one nub. It's not my company. He's not. I'll tell Verizon. What kind of signal strength do you, you mean each and every company has its own series of towers and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's kind of that's weird. See, mine's like pretty weak. Yeah. I got you. But soon it's going to be all satellite, Donnie. Like a satellite radio. Yeah. If we had a van, Donnie, we'd have that. Because we could, we could listen to like all old country if you wanted to for a while. <laughs> or all brand new alternative rock, you know what I mean? That's that satellite radio? Yeah. yeah I would love that. Would you or not? No. I see. You, you want to get a dose of what's fucking like the, the newest of the new in some field? Uh, Hip hop? Yeah. Had that, uh, oh, you don't really get any of the indie shit, though. No, they got Before that the too, Donnie. Got they got the indie bullshit. They got the indie shit nobody hears channel. I swear to God, they do. It's like satellite. Which, which makes it like, well, if they got they that, if they got that, why is it indie hard to get you? It's like playing, my are satellite. They our record? Yeah, they are. There are stations that play our record. There are. My parents oh, said on this, you, you can, you have can to dial up. in on the satellite request line. On my parents' desk, you can queue up. If you want to listen to big band, you can find the big band station. If you want anything you want, on my satellite. blues, have you, have you, have you got American blues, huh? Yeah, I got, got all, up, all indie. Have you got up indie rock, Deadly? Yeah, they got a uh, they got uh, an alternative channel like a uh, REM. Yeah, they got every alternative. They got uh, this and that, all the categories. New they singles. The they got a whole. Time. They got probably. Now they don't have that. They got a station. I went down. And they got one station. They got an old classics rock station. A little, a, a, 60, per, a 70, little bit, 80. or maybe a pretty good bit of, maybe a whole lot of <laughs> REM and The Cure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have like a new age channel. They got all sorts of. But the man to listen to all the music, man, it's on the internet. They, on my uh, new Mac, you can go to this iTunes radio thing. It's just got, I mean, hundreds of radio stations on the internet. Are you forced to sit at your computer desk and listen to this music? Uh, no, you can route it at, or however you have your computer hooked up, which could be to kick-ass stereo system. You could pipe it to anywhere in your house. A kick-ass one. I just think that kick Ashley. Oh, Ashley. If we had it right now, we might be listening to something. Oh, you're right. It'd be a low place I'd ever hear anything. You wouldn't get this well, dialogue. I, I listened to this blues thing, and it, and it wasn't it wasn't the blues I wanted to hear. It's just more blues and minor key. Oh, I don't know. It, it's yeah, almost like, like a pop blues. Mind. If you like could, what? like a pop, I, best way I can describe it, like a pop blues or something. Just, uh, it just wasn't. I don't know how to explain it. Wasn't Don Shipsy? It was just more your uh, what you would expect commercial big time bl you know blues people would pick out to play, as opposed to what Don Ships would play for you. Okay, so a little more. Uh, mainstream blues. Yeah, it's mainstream. Definitely mainstream. <laughs> White folks, middle class, right. heavy blues. Yeah, that's it. Cartoons blues. <laughs> yeah. I got the cartoon blues.
there would be an exception about one out of ten songs, you know. Yeah, well, it's not that they're bad songs, it's just that they have it's like Mustang Sally, a great song, but has a horrible connotation. <laughs> yeah. Mustang Sally is a new Proud Mary. And oh, yeah. Uh, but it's older than Proud Mary. <laughs> Figure that out. Crazy world. The Nuke Center's done. Well, I, I see... Uh, well, Freebird has finally been replaced. Well, with what? That God Only Knows song by uh, Kid Rock. Oh, yeah. How's that go? <laughs> Don't ask me. I've heard it several times. I couldn't know my moment of it. We're riding the ridge line. Ridge line. Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. You want to go to Frankenstein? Who learned that? I think that's, that's the one that Johnny B's playing drums on. Frankenstein. Do you know that, Luke? Who? Johnny B's playing drums on Frankenstein. Who's Johnny B? You don't know who Johnny B the drummer is? One of the best rock and roll drummers ever been? What's his real name? Or is that his Alex That's what he goes by, Johnny B. I swear to God, I've never heard of Johnny B. Who did he play with? That's right, the Detroit. Yeah. Oh, I knew that drop. Okay, that, that's Johnny I know B. who you're talking about. Johnny I never B. knew his name. Johnny B. Yes, yeah, the guy I've seen him play. Yeah, he's still doing it with me, right? You have that? No, uh, he's fired. Do you have that Max? He's hard recently? to get Yeah. What's that? Do you have that Max Weinberg book? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, got a story about him. Yeah. Okay. He's kind of he hard to get along that. with, Lou. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've seen him play it more than once. Uh, no, he's real good. I've met him a few times. Yeah. On, uh, yeah. Was it, He's on? best at that. Uh, yeah. Jenny Taker. Jenny Taker. Oh ride. man. Donnie and I were talking about that's what made that's what put him on the map. Was that be? Nobody can do it the way he does it. <laughs> well, some guys can. Some guys named Rongo. No. Some guys. Steve, Steve Jordan can do it. Steve Jordan can play about anything you can imagine. I think there's great musicians to can play anything from jazz to hard rock. You bet. He's one of them. Not too many A lot drummers of can do that though and do it well. But Steve Jordan is one of them. It's the shuffle. It's the swing. Not too many can play rock well and then play jazz out. Drum
you'd have to condition yourself to play that beat. If I, if I practice every day, what, for months, months, I can do it. Yeah, but see, you just got to do it for five minutes. It only works. It only works on you know, guys. You got to play it on everything if you're fucking be a boring band. That's right. But it'd be nice to be capable to play it for one song if you wanted to. And do oh, yeah. It, and do it well. <laughs> it's more of a physical accomplishment, <laughs> yeah. really. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's that's what it is with drums. When you get older, it's all physical. <laughs> it's like sex. Yeah. Total physical. It's like watching your first guy lift 500 pounds. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like I can play that beat well for about three bars. You know. Right. I think that's <laughs> then I lose you just put, you put you drive it up into 16th bars and play it two or three times with a good song. No, but I thought I know what you mean. But Jenny, take a ride. If you're doing that song, you know, like I can remember doing. But oh, I, I think I, I think I remember guys doing it. You know, because they just really wanted to do it. And they were like twenty. It. You can I think, it. You I think can if you're, I think if you're twenty, you can do it. You know, a lot easier. Oh, of course, yeah, more energy. That's it's an energy. Man. It takes a skinny leg. <laughs> Your muscles change. Your muscles do change. My day, my day. But he's always being hired and fired by the Mitch, Johnny B. Oh, he's been in now the band's over. Oh time. yeah. Has he done any other good any other stuff? Well, he played with uh, he played yeah. He's a drummer on Frankenstein. He does the studio stuff that you don't know is him. <laughs> what he left of that? <laughs> oh, that was a good. He oh, did a good shoot, job on that. Wrong way. And I'm not sure. I don't even think he got credit. He's not credited. Did he play with the band? Did he play with Well, the, he was hired to do Johnny that project. Winter, and then Edgar Winter. Edgar Winter. And then uh, something happened. Maybe it was just a time thing. He ended up hiring another drummer to do the project instead of Johnny B. It's probably a time conflicting thing. But they did get a few tracks down, and they ended up using that track that Johnny B. On, Did he get credit on the record? On I album? don't think he even knew. He it was probably one of those things. It's probably an honest accident, you know, when the record came out that they didn't know it was Johnny B, you know, but it, it was. So he didn't get credit on the original press. I think. I think that's right. They've, been, they've subsequently corrected. I think so. See, Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels were like uh, just a real, just like smash I-20 to me. They were just like, they were there, had a couple of songs, enjoyed it, played a few of those things. They were gone. They were never what I would consider a fucking lasting impression, got really something to say, band, you know. Like, like yeah, a few hits. I, no, they had great hits, you know what I mean? But I, I didn't, you know. Well, I mean, it boils down to the beat, the beat, the beat. They yeah, had the it's beat. It's the beat. It's the yeah, rock It's thing. the beat. I love their hits. There you go. I liked everybody's hits, though. So. But sometimes it's not okay, about the 50. words. Where am I gonna go to now? God damn it, I'm on Lynn. I guess we need to go west, Loose Creek. I'm thinking. This is familiar. Fifty. Hey, there's a McDonald's. How about a, a P stop? For oh, okay. Right. Why don't I do that? I'll go up here and turn around and come back. Ron, you're not on. You're not on your game. I was thinking drum beats. Drum oh, beats yeah. just throw me off. <laughs> Music overrode your bladder. Bomba. A good beat can overcome bad lyrics. I do it the damn money bag. There it is. Doing that. You scared yourself for a second. Just didn't you? not even not. I didn't really scare him. But I was going to well, You're I mean, just playing games with yourself, yourself aren't you? Playing the game. With no, I just already spent about all. The Smoke money. a little pot. <laughs> <laughs> aren't you glad I did that? You got a little amusement out of that. Shoot, I'm 
time I do that. Plus, I got you just a tiny bit nervous. <laughs> oh my god! Because we wouldn't be making this stop. <laughs> Five dollars in here. I'd have been. Next stop would have been the laundry man. <laughs> man, I should have charged batteries. Militia Drive. There you go. Never seen that. Oh, we haven't got to Jefferson City yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why we're going through. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've been on 63 well, South. We have, cross, we have to cross the river. This is the road down to Eminence, isn't it? Or, uh, well, we're, we're actually between Jeff and Rolla. Yeah, 63. Yeah. So 63 that goes up north of Rolla? North of Rolla? Uh huh. Yeah. That's the way you go to Columbia. Yeah, that's like, yeah, used north. to do that a lot. Yeah. But this has all changed through here. It used to be two lane through here. It used to not even be here at all 300 years ago. Yeah. Shit happens. <laughs> 300 years ago, an otter would have been here. Gas was real cheap. But the weather was probably a whole lot like this, wasn't it, today? Yeah. But you know what would have been right here? They'd been grass over your fucking head. Then we saw that poster over there, Missouri Corrections Officers Association, two bears on each side of a badge. Man, that was fucking bizarre. <laughs> Fuck, I'd almost turn around to go see that again. That's part of the state seal. I can't believe we're going 60 miles an hour. It seems like we're just crawling. You're the thing because we're off that skinny road. I've seen those. 